In Israel, we know all too well what it means to face enemies who systematically exploit children as weapons of war. It is the responsibility of leaders everywhere to protect children at all costs, to protect them from the ravages of war, and to shelter them in a protective environment where children can thrive. Unfortunately, the Palestinians are failing at this most critical responsibility. Instead of nourishing their youth with the dreams of a bright future, Palestinian children are fed a steady diet of hatred for Israel and glorification of violence. We are paying the price of this glorification of terror on the streets of Israel today. Since October, Israel has faced a tide of terror. 40 people have been killed and over 500 injured as Israelis continue to endure attack after attack, day after day, week after week, and month after month. In this wave of ongoing violence, 47 acts of terror, of the stabbings, shootings, and car rammings have been carried out by Palestinian youth under the age of 18. They have attacked, injured, and killed men and women of all ages, including 22 Israeli children. Just last month, a 17-year-old Palestinian stabbed a 13-year-old Israeli girl to death in her bed as she slept in her family's home. Imagine a young girl sleeping comfortably in her bed, stabbed over and over in cold blood by a child just a few years older than her. Children killing children. This is the direct result of the venomous hatred preached to children in Palestinian society. For the sake of peace, for the sake of children on both sides, the international community must send a clear message to the Palestinian leadership. Children are our most precious gift. They deserve to grow up in a society which fosters a vision of hope and promotes an education that preaches peace instead of hate, tolerance instead of, of violence, and mutual understanding instead of martyrdom.